I mean, come on. These are absolutely sensational. Look at that. You know, still staying up. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're going to bust open one of cooking's myths. You know, we have been lectured for years and years and years on how to make Yorkshire puddings. I'm a Yorkshireman. I'm going to show you how to make a Yorkshire pudding without all the dangerous heating up of oils and all the rest of it. And you will have perfect Yorkshire puddings every time. So remember, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Let's crack on and bust this myth wide open using the High Sapientia 24 litre air fryer. Let's do it, come on. And we want 150 grams of all purpose flour. Wow, 151, that will do. Salt, a little bit of salt in there. Now I'm putting pepper in and you don't have to put pepper in. I just like pepper in my Yorkshire puddings. So that's our dry mix in there, look. Actually, I want to use this bowl. So what we'll do is we'll just transfer that to there. Okay, now four eggs, I'm going to put that in there. Now the reason I transferred it is this is a bigger bowl obviously and it's going to splash. So that's my four eggs. Now what we'll do, we'll weigh out the milk. Grams and milliliters weigh the same. Okay, so i.e. if it's a hundred milliliters if you weigh it, it will be 100 grams. And the milk that we're doing today is 175. And I'm going to put it in here. And then if we go over, we can take some out. So let's go for it. 176. And we want about 25 milliliters of water. Oh, 29. We're going too much. Let's not stress. Okay, there you go. All done in front of you. We don't need the scales. They can go up there. Eggs, milk, beet. Let's break that up. And we're going to tip that milk and water mixture in there. Do that and then we're going to take our flour mixture and make into a batter so everybody's following along so you're all following along at the moment there's no raising agents there's no nothing in here that is our milk water flour salt pepper eggs That's it. Leave on the side. We're going to leave it there 20 minutes. In 20 minutes time, we're going to heat up the oven. I'm going to shove it in there. Okay, you can see nothing has moved. Everything as is. 20 minutes later, that's our batter. And if you look at our batter, it's starting to foam up a little bit. That's perfect. It's not even in the, the fridge or anything. And the temperature of this if we can get that in there is 25 degrees nearly 26 degrees 25 8 and the oil is on the side and that is 30 degrees this is a little bit cooler because we use milk from the fridge so we want to be putting our oven on i've got a tray here look bog standard tray that comes with the oven i'm going to put that in there now and the tray can heat up as well. So we want the oven on and we want to set the temperature as high as it'll go, which is 230. And we'll just give it, a, I don't know, let's just give it eight minutes to warm up. That's our batter. 
and we are going to tip it in this jug just to make it easier for pouring okay and for today's demonstration I will be using canola oil bog standard canola oil no duck fat, goose fat, beef dripping, no nothing okay if you want to use that that's up to you okay and I'm using this which is a bog standard muffin tray and you can see I've got one minute left on there I'm gonna put this in the oven on that tray okay that's had a minute in there look it's now going to end hot even though there's no oil in we've heated up that tray now the tray is not going to be screaming hot but you know take precaution that is our tray and we're just going to put this cold oil in there oh a bit much in that one not to worry and then we're going to tip our batter in there so you can see nothing is boiling hot there's no oil boiling over there's no sizzling going on there's nothing dangerous about any of this and then we're going to put that back in the oven on that tray so that's our puds in there door up temperature on time let's do 20 minutes and see what happens in 20 minutes that's going to do it that's enough we don't have to go any more than that let's have those puddings out of there got a couple of misshapes and the rest are okay so in our bowl that's a misshape that's because of the fan probably of the uh, air fryer So that's our puddings, let's get some more back in. Back in there. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's get those out of there. Look at those. That's how a pudding's made, look. Look at those things. Look. Now, they are going to shrink down a little bit because they are Yorkshire puddings. But just look at those. Absolutely tremendous, superb. Okay, let's just get them in a bowl and we'll crack on and get some more. So just look at that lot. I think that is myth busted. Okay, there's a couple of misshapen ones. 
you know, but it's still a Yorkshire pudding, it's still hollow inside there. A couple of misshapen, probably because of the fan inside the air fryer. But look at these. I mean, come on. These are absolutely sensational. Look at that. You know, still staying up. Most of them have collapsed, obviously, because that's what happens with the Yorkshire. They rise up and then they sink down. But look at those. That is absolutely fantastic. Right, let's bust the myth. What have we been doing? We're baking. You know, you don't heat up a pan till it's screaming hot with loads of oil in to bake a cake. It's only eggs and things. What I will say is that warm oil, warm oil, works really well. You don't have to be screaming hot at all. You know, the second lot of these puddings that came out, the rise is slightly more, and they've got slightly better shape than some of the other ones. Mind you, these are okay. But they're slightly better shape. You know, the oil is already warmed up in there because we've cooked the first lot of Yorkshire puddings. And then, I haven't put the oil back in, as you saw. We just put the mix in the oil and put it back in the air fryer so I will say you don't have to have it screaming hot at all because it's like baking the eggs are going to rise anyway in there however if the oil is warm it's advantageous not screaming hot don't get burnt don't fill the house up with smoke there you go there is the result they are fantastic Yorkshire puddings. So I think we bust the myth a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be screaming hot. There's the results. And these are all cooked in an air fryer. In the High Sapienta 24 litre air fryer. Fantastic results. So remember, thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And we'll catch you in the next video. Look at those.